Big, 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 What's up, big, guys? Big, You're watching Black Tree TV. Always bring you the hottest in music and entertainment. We're about to sit down with R&B superstar Bobby Valentino and talk about life, love, and of course, music. I'm your girl Erica Young. Let's get into it. Y'all, welcome to Black Tree TV. I'm your girl Erica Young, and we are chilling in the beautiful Lynn Monk Rose Hotel right here in West Hollywood with the one and only R&B superstar Bobby Valentino's in the building, y'all. How you feeling tonight? I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. I heard you just got off the plane and came straight here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just off a flight, you know. Um, coming from Atlanta, I had a couple days off, so you know, straight here to the hotel and straight to the interview with you guys. All right. Well, yeah. your album right now, The Rebirth, has been in stores as of February. Yes. And it has debuted at number one, which is a big look for you. It's your third number one album uh, to debut like that in a row. So how does that feel for you? Congratulations, by the way. Uh, it's a blessing, you know, really just to just really to be in this industry and to do what you love to do. It's a blessing, you know. Um, every day I'm able to travel the world. I'm able to meet a lot of different people and I'm, I'm able to just really do what I love to do. So, you know, um, I just work hard and um, and it's a blessing to do what I, what I love to do. Absolutely. And you've worked with a very interesting selection of producers on this album. I know you have Tim and Bob, the Grammy Award winning duo that you've worked yes. with a lot. Yes. And Raphael Sadiq, which was a hot, hot joint. I got to tell you, I love that one. And you also have Los on the album, right? Yeah, yeah. I got LOS. And I also um, produced a couple records on the album myself, okay. too. So, you know, I'm getting my production bars up. And, um, you know, all the producers I work with are, are very in tune with, with real R&B music and where I want to go in my direction and what I need to be doing, you know what I'm saying? So I work with some great producers. Um, we had a lot of fun recording the album. I really love and enjoy working with Tim and Bob because those are like my brothers. Those are the cats that really started it out with me, you know. So to work with them, I'm going to work with them every album for sure, you know. And I think the chemistry is crazy with them. Absolutely, and you've talked about that a lot in your interviews, bringing R&B back. You even said right. R&B is dead. Right. So what is the direction that you were talking about you wanted to take it to? Um, you know, really, like I said, just really just bringing good music back. And I really do think that like R&B is dead because the world is so rap oriented right now mm -hmm. that we as R&B singers, we almost have to make rap records in order to get them played. Right. But the one good thing about R&B is once your record finally makes it, it's going to last a while, you know, on the charts as far as, as, as chart positioning and, and as far as being on the chart. So um, it just takes a while to get there. But once it gets to really going and people get familiar with it, you know, it's off the chain. So, you know, but I really feel like R&B is dead because of those reasons right there. You know, rap is so big. Radio don't play a lot of R&B. So it's kind of like, you know, you got to just you got to find your way in there somehow. Well, you definitely did that with Beat because you featured Young Jock in it. So right, you right. worked your way into that with yeah, the R&B yeah. rap angle. And your new single right now is called Hands On Me. And right. you just wrapped the video for that as well. So yeah. tell me about that. Yeah, we actually going to the video. Um, I'm doing 106 in Park in a couple of days, a okay. new joint. And, um, you know, um, MTV just added it. So, you know, the video is off the chain. I was getting my acting bars up. I was actually being like the new Fonzarelli in the, vid in the oh, video. Okay. We took the whole Happy Days theme and turned it into, you know, the video for Hands On Me. So the video is crazy. All right. Well, definitely make sure to check out that video and vote it up on the countdowns, y'all, if you yeah. are listening to this. For sure. um, there's another song I want to talk about that I saw. It jumped out at me on the record, which was Three is the new two. <laughs> you owe us ladies an explanation on that one, Bobby. <laughs> well, you know, three is the new two. Man, I think that's like every guy's fantasy, you know, to have two beautiful women. And, and you know, three is the new two. It's kind of like, that's like the new thing now, you know. Um, I'm, I'm running to a lot of females that like females, and you know, just, and that's how that song came about, you know. Um, it's no 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 nothing negative or anything like that for those that aren't interested in that. <laughs> Simply skip the song and go to the next one. Don't but, hate because yeah, you don't yeah. want to participate. Exactly. Right? Don't hate because you don't want to participate. But it's all good, man. Three is the new two. That's what it is, you know. All right. So all your ladies with some friends that you down with like that holler at Bobby V. You already know what it is. <laughs> 
Now, Jeez. speaking of your album, um, it's something that your fans definitely love, you know, bringing you back with that R&B feel. What, what do you say to your critics? Like, Vibe Magazine just came out with a review on it, calling it a collection of confusion. But you say that it's your best work in a long time. Did they win? When was that? They did. It was, it was very current, actually. And really? I read that, too. Like, what? But what do you have to say to critics about that? I think critics, it's not really. I think um, music is, is so... Um, What's the word? People all, all, it's so opinionated, you know? Everybody has their opinion, so I guess that might have been um, that specific critic's opinion, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, I could sit 10 people in a room and play one song, and I guarantee all 10 people won't like it, you know? So, it's kind of like music is all, it's, it's very opinionated, and, um, you know, if that's how they feel, it's a collective effort of, what is that called? Uh, they said it was a collection of confusion. Collection Not my of words. Confusion. Oh, yeah, it's all good. All right, well, we are chilling here still with the one and only RB superstar Bobby B, getting to know the man behind the man on a more personal level. So, what is on Bobby B's agenda when he wakes up in the morning? What's your first thought? Mm, my first thought is, is I'm always thinking five years down the road. I'm always thinking like the future. You know, everything is always good now, you know, and, and it's good now, but. I'm always thinking about tomorrow and what I'm going to do the next day and what am I going to do to prolong my career and to continue to be successful. You know, every day that's on my mind and um, it's never, I never really come at peace no matter how successful or no matter what I do or whatever, no matter whatever accolades I might get, you know, I'm still always thinking about the future. So um, once I get to that level, maybe I have a clear mind, but I probably won't steal then you know so i'm always just thinking about the next move and what i'm gonna do next wow well then what do you do to relax do you cook do you watch tv do you ball yeah 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 i play sports and i like to work out um i think um i run a lot mm -hmm. so i think that's like my relaxation is when i run and after that thought of after i work out being very sore just just chilling you know that's that's really what i like to do Top five songs on your iPod right now. Top five songs. It, it'll have to be like some old school R&B. You know, it's going to have to be like some Jodeci, some D'Angelo, um, you know, Lil Tony, 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 the Isleys, Lil Babyface, Lil Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, what I'm at, about seven or eight now. <laughs> you, you got a bit it, on that yeah. That's a longer, that's, a, that's an yeah. LP right there. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it goes on and on, man. So, you know, Anita Baker, you know, all of those people that really made R&B and paved the way for it, you know, those are people that, you know, I still listen to to this day. Well, you know what they say, what a man listens to is what he makes love to. So is, <laughs> is, that, statement, is that statement true? I'm trying to find out for all the ladies out here. I make love to a little Bobby V, man. You got to oh, put okay. that Bobby. No, nah, I was just playing. <laughs> but I do sometimes. I think I'm... I think I got the hottest music, you know what I mean, me personally, but as an artist, you got to feel like you're the best, you know what I mean, and I really feel like I'm the best, and um, I do listen to a lot of my music a lot, but um, you know, those are definitely people who I listen to, too, though. Okay, alright, and what do, you, what do you eat when you when you sit down for the day? Do you cook? Nah, it's, uh, I need a woman that cooks. Do you cook? Oh, I actually, you know what? We can find wah, wah. <laughs> You don't cook. Actually, you know what? I heard that you like a certain dish called mm, caviar. <laughs> <laughs> All y'all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's a friend. We're cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, it ain't nothing like that, though. We're real cool, though. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm single, though. I'm single. Sure. Oh, okay. See, that's what we were getting at. Yeah, yeah, The yeah. word on the block, Black Tree exclusive, is that Bobby B is single, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Very much so. Speaking of which. This is my new girlfriend. Oh, okay. It's official. It's official, like a referee. I got you on tape. You got it. That's dangerous. Exactly. <laughs> and I got, I got her on tape. See, I didn't think about that. We are definitely going to see you later on tonight as well because you're about to bounce from here and hit the stage at House of Blues on yeah. Sunset in Hollywood. What are we going to see tonight? Will you be there? I will definitely. Am I invited? Definitely invited. All right. Well, then we got that on lock as well. On tape. She, you're, you're escorting me there. I will walk you on the stage even. How about that? Yes. How about it? <laughs> All right, y'all, you already know what it is. This is Bobby Valentino live and in the building. Make sure you check him out at JustBobby.com. And, of course, you can follow us at Twitter.com slash BlackTreeTV. And hit me on my Twitter, too, Bobby oh. BK Dreams. On the Twitter, I'm on that boy.
right. Well, we're going to Twitter at you, and uh, we'll definitely check in with you later on tonight as well at the House of Blues. I'm your girl, Erica Young. You're watching Black Tree TV. Let me tell what she likes. Yo, J.O. Let me give her my...